Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Reuters under the main headline of Russian offensive slows. Says Ukraine. As residents flee bombed out cities. Summary of headline article. Russia earlier offered Ukrainians escape routes to Russia and its close ally Belarus on Monday. After weekend evacuation ceasefire attempts failed. Read more, in a few minutes. We will start talking to representatives of a country that seriously believes large-scale violence. Against civilians is an argument, Ukrainian negotiator Mikhailo Podolyak said on Twitter. Attempts by the Ukrainian side to deceive Russia and the whole civilized world. Dot are useless this. Time. The Russian Defense Ministry said after announcing the humanitarian corridors. A spokesperson for Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the Russian proposal was completely immoral. A day earlier, Reuters journalists had witnessed people trying to flee the town of Apin near Kyiv getting caught in Russian shelling. From The Guardian under the main headline of just 300 Ukrainian refugees granted visas to come to the UK. Summary of headline article. The number of Ukrainian refugees granted visas to come to the UK under the new family scheme has risen from about 50 to 300. The government has announced leading Labour to criticise the shockingly low figure. Numerous applicants said they were stuck in unfamiliar countries on the border with Ukraine. Unable to come to the UK because they were wrestling with the complex application process. Photograph. Kim Wilshire Refugee Organizations said these bureaucratic and technical issues highlighted the case. For replacing a complex visa application with a simpler. Visa-free humanitarian refugee scheme. A government spokesperson said it had surged staff and increased the number of appointments at its visa application centers in the region. It creates a kind of existential despair in Ukrainians trying to reach the UK when they have to go through this after escaping from the war. From the Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war. Moscow threatens to cut gas supplies to Europe. Zelensky vows to stay in Kyiv until a Euro war is won a Euro a Euro. Live. Summary of headline article. 309 We reported earlier that a senior Russian commander, Major General Vitaly Gerasimov, Chief of Staff of the 41st Army, has been killed in fighting in Kharkiv. Our World Affairs Editor, Julian Borger reports that the death of the decorated veteran of campaigns in Chechnya, Syria and the Crimea was reported by Ukrainian intelligence after it picked up a telephone conversation between two FSB officers discussing the death. Other senior officers are believed to have been killed as well. The two FSB officers also lament that their secure communications were no longer functioning inside Ukraine. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Whitechapel High Street Fire. Woman rescued from Aldgate Tower blaze. Summary of headline article. A woman was rescued after a fire broke out in a block of flats and offices on Whitechapel High. Street on Monday afternoon. Station Commander Chris Jenner. Who was at the scene. Said. This was a dynamic and visible fire with our 999 control officers taking more than 50 calls in the early stages. She was given fire survival advice by control officers until firefighters located her. Fire crews used a fire escape hood to help lead the woman to safety via the internal staircase. Fire crews from Whitechapel, Shoreditch, Dowgate. Bethnal Green, Dockhead, Old Kent Road, Islington and surrounding fire stations attended the scene. 
from The Independent under the main headline of UK faces worst drop in living standards since 1970s. Economists warn. Summary of headline article. Britain has stepped out of a global pandemic and straight into a cost of living crisis, said Adam Corlett. Principal economist at the think tank. Ms. Reeves believes that the national insurance rise planned by the Chancellor this spring is the wrong tax at the wrong time. These benefits will increase by 3.1% this spring. Taking a snapshot measure of inflation from September last year, the immediate priority should be for the Chancellor to revisit benefits uprating in his upcoming spring statement, Mr. Corlett said. He added that, in the longer term, it was critical for the UK to reverse its terrible recent record on productivity in order to boost living standards. From BBC under the main headline of Ukraine. Volodymyr Zelensky to address UK MPs in Commons. Summary of headline article. Sir Lindsay said, every parliamentarian wants to hear directly from the president who will be speaking to us live from Ukraine. So this is an important opportunity for the House. From the Sun under the main headline of Brits face a £4,000 energy bills is triple whammy, cost surge. Hits nation's pockets. Summary of headline article. Brits are bracing for agonising £4,000 energy bills as a triple whammy cost surge hits the nation's pockets. Families are facing further financial hardship as petrol prices hit a record high of 155.62 pa. litre. However, MPs are urging Rishi Sunak to cut fuel duty in order to soften record prices at the pump. Chancellor Mr Sunak is under pressure to cut fuel duty by 5p in his mini-budget on March 23. Campaigners Fair Fuel UK say the extra £2 billion VAT generated by soaring fuel prices over the last year is more than enough to give drivers some respite. From Evening Standard under the main headline of a Euro E a Euro M not hiding a Euro. Zelensky delivers defiant message from office in centre of Kyiv. Summary of headline article. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky insisted he is not afraid of anyone as he recorded a new video from his office in the capital for the first time. At the start of the video he shows the view from his office and before walking to his seat where he continues his address. Mr Zelensky is set to give a historic address to MPs on by video link later on Tuesday. Mr. Zelensky speaks as he takes a video of himself walking in his office in Kyiv, via Reuters bombs. Also hit oil depots in Zhitomir and the neighboring town of Chernihiv, west of Kyiv. The embassies of the UK, US and EU countries also moved to Lviv from Kyiv before the invasion. From Mail Online under the main headline of How Letter Z Became Russia's Swastika. Summary of headline article. It has become a sinister symbol marking support for Russia's barbaric invasion of Ukraine. First seen on tanks and armored vehicles on the battlefield. The letter Z has since been adopted for propaganda purposes by Vladimir Putin's supporters back home. Precisely what the letter stands for is uncertain but, with Putin dubbed a 21st century Hitler. Some have compared it to the Nazi swastika in the Second World War. Used by the military. It distinguishes Russian tanks, troop carriers and other vehicles from similar looking ones from the Ukraine army in a bid to avoid friendly fire. The letter Z does not exist in the Cyrillic Russian alphabet. From the sun under the main headline of patients waiting 18 months for NHS treatment can go private. For free. Summary of headline article. Patients waiting more than 18 months for NHS treatment will be able to go private for free in plans.
to slash the COVID backlog. Health Secretary Sajid Javid will say today that expanding the right to choose will help speed up. Care is 6 million languish on waiting lists. It means 4 million Brits will have a much bigger say on their treatment and how it is delivered. I choose reform. Amanda Pritchard, Chief Executive of NHS England, said the reforms put patients in the driving seat on decisions about their care. She added, these measures will support the work of the NHS long-term plan giving more patients greater choice and control over their own health. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.